back to another episode of TBH. We are your host, Jay Specialist and Peter from TheBeerHeads.com. Let's get into today's release. We're going to be doing a special beer from the Uinta Brewing Company out of Salt Lake City, Utah. It is their most underrated double IPA, which I think it is their one and only Detour, coming in at 9.5% ABV. Let's get this into a glass and I'll let you know, what, we'll let you know what we think. Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh, All right, the appearance on the detour from Uinta Brewing Company. What are you picking up, Peter? Well, I, I was expecting, uh, you know, Utah is close enough to the west over here, earthquake country, as they say. But uh, uh, it's a little bit more East Coasty than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, I definitely get a more East Coast vibrant color. You definitely get a more darker amber orange than yeah. you get a, a bright burnt orange. Yeah. But um, a wonderful head. God yeah, yes. definitely nice retention on this one. Not too much dissipation for something at 9.5% ABV. Definitely nice looking. You get any alcohol agents on this one? Yeah, de- you know, it's hanging right on there. If I tilt my glass back and forth, you will see. Definitely, yeah. It's just hanging on, beautiful khaki head, and, you know, it's a wonderful appearance so far. Not too much carbonation, though, on this one. Like Hardly any glass, at all. But definitely a nice pop in the pour. All right, the nose on the Detour Double IPA. Hmm. My goodness, Peter, what are you picking oh, up on this? Oh, wow. You know, it has a nice little bitterness, but it has a, it's more of an English-style IPA from what I could get. The nose of it, it just, you know, uh, what I've tried lately is the Racer X. It smells really yeah, close to Racer X. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah, 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 the Racer X. Which Racer X always states that it's an English-style, you know? Yeah. And I've had Racer X uh, recently, and it, it smells almost, I mean, it's like a clone of Racer X almost. Almost. You definitely get that more caramelization, English, mm-hmm. sweetness, nose. You get some nice, you know, subtle, pungent, bitterness qualities of floral hops. You definitely get that nice, huge citrus. Yeah, it definitely has like a burnt tangerine orange mm-hmm. quality, huge, juicy, peachy, you know, subtle grapefruit. It's not mm-hmm. huge grapefruit in this one. It's more subtle. And you know, this is definitely more tropical fruity qualities. Oh, yeah. A nice, you know, sweetness nose, nice little floral. Definitely a nice caramelization, breadiness nose oh, yeah. quality. Definitely big in bouquets. It's definitely nice. It's, it has a huge uh, malt All right, the taste on the Detour Double IPA. I'm picking up a huge influence of East Coast English vibe. I'm getting a nice, you know, sweet malt backbone, nice subtle pungentness of bitterness. And then you get that whole peachy, subtle grapefruit, nice little pineapple blending in with the malt and then the hops. You kind of get that, new, you know, the subtle bitterness of hops. And then the finish comes. And you start picking up a, a, a pine needle dry quality. What do you pick up? Oh, exactly what you said, Jay. You're, you're spot on with the, uh, this is a, e, you know, English style IPA. It's not a West Coast, you know, IPA at all. It's way different. But at the same time, it has a great malty taste. It's balanced out with all the beautiful hops that lead to the astringency, the passion fruit, the orange, the citrus quality, the blood orange. I would say this has one of the most blood orange qualities of any kind of IPA I've ever yeah, had. Nice Which blood orange it has a very bitter but very sweet taste. Yeah. All right, so we're back with the verdict on Uinta's Brewing Company's Detour Double IPA. Mm-hmm. Perhaps one of the most underrated IPAs, double IPAs, if anything, for standards. We're going to be giving this a 19 out of a 20. Yep. Making it a solid A beer. This was fantastic. What do you have to say about that? I will say that um, a lot of our West Coast fans have tried Racer, Racer X and tried this next because there's something about it that is a little bit more intriguing, a little bit better. And it's very, very different, and I really feel it's underrated, and it's something that you guys must check out. Yeah. And it is a great beer. But other than that, it's something we're going to keep drinking until the next time. As we always say, live, learn, and drink. We're going to enjoy beers. You guys should do the same.